I think it's Doctor Who starting a bit earlier. Um, there's nothing for you. Sorry about my picking my nose. <laughs> it's probably like 5.30 ish in the morning. Invisible monster. Mommy. I don't me. In case if you don't know, um, it's two day. It's early in the morning. Um, Australia time. Which is pretty cool. I knew a doctor. Well, that's kind of abrupt. I thought it would be coming um, a bit later. I'm guessing I was wrong. Like, yeah, I wake up early. <laughs> She said, Hatred is too strong an emotion to waste on someone that you don't like. Well, people are confused because I'm confused. What do they really mean? It's up. Look, what I'm trying to say is, 
I don't hate you. Oh, she cut her hair. I can never hate you. Oh, I can't do this anymore. Not the way you have to do it. <laughs> Go. Sitting on the floor, constant acid rain, had a lovely picnic there once, wearing a gas mask. That's a lie. I'm sorry? That's a lie. What you said. Teddy and Paul was destroyed thousands of years ago, so you couldn't have been there. Miss Pitt, are you sure you wouldn't rather rest in your room? That man's a liar. Perhaps you would allow Mr. Carlyle here to escort you back. Sorry about that. I suppose it's understandable in the circumstances. I do believe we've been introduced to Captain Grell. I'm Clara. This is the doctor. Ah, another one. Sorry, another what? Well, we've got doctors and professors coming out of our ears on this trip. <laughs> so, what are you, doctor? Now, mm -hmm. uh, there's a question that's never asked often enough. Let's say. Just a I'm beginning to think Miss Pitt is right about you. What's wrong with that? Did something happen? You mean you really don't matter? There's a body and there's a mummy. And you think you've not just get on a train? Did I ever see a curse on you about me? It might be nothing. Old ladies die all the time. It's practically their job description. Is there a monster? Well, seen by no one. Is that car that suggested it wasn't there? Dying brain, lack of oxygen, hallucinations. Anyway, people do just die sometimes. She was over 100 years old. She was a 2,000 year old man. Now, are you actually excited as if you want this to be here? I think. Do you? No. No. Look. Right. You know, if you think that there is nothing to worry about, then that is fine by me. Are you sure? Ah, yes, I'm sure. To our last hurrah. Oh, was last, yeah, but I mean, it's not like I'm going to see you again. Isn't it? Is it? I thought that's what you wanted. No, well, I mean, you know, you're going to come out for dinner or something, aren't you? Do you do, you do that? Do you come out to people's houses again? Last of what? The hell's happening here? Of course, what am I going to do now? I don't know. I thought you might find it boring. Is it boring? No. It's nothing. Nothing. Definitely. Sure. Ninety nine percent. Sure. Really? Ninety nine percent? That's quite high. Is that the figure you're sticking with? Okay, okay. Seventy five. <laughs> That's jumped quite a bit. It just looks twenty four percent. So what are you saying? Just because he's brought me somewhere cool, I shouldn't dump him. Well, one, you can't dump him because he's not your boyfriend. Two, dumping him sounds a little scorched. He's still basically the opposite. I think you should just enjoy your space trains. At least it's not dangerous. <laughs> yeah. Boring, really. Because you know what this sounds like, don't you? No. I do tell me. A mummy that only the victim can see. How is being rhetorical? I know exactly what this sounds like. A bit of Tom Baker there. Excelsior Life Extender. It's like driving around in a portable hospital. Yes, but it didn't do Mrs. Pitt much good, did it? Got me there, sir. Certainly got me there. 
maybe it malfunctioned. Oh, man. The records show that the machine did everything it could to keep that alive. Yeah. And almost drained the battery, didn't it? What do you know? Well, I know that when I find a man fiddling with a chair that someone died in, it's best to play my cards close to my chest. Really? Well, I know that when I find a man loitering near the chair that someone died in, I do just the same. Perkins, chief engineer. The doctor. Nosey Parker. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, doctor. Of course, it's a rumor that someone in something else might be responsible. You were, but you've had a bad day. I think anybody could do with a little bit of help after a day like today. Computer, open the door. Call me, God. I'm afraid mm. this door can only be opened by executive order. Hmm. Mm. Are you okay? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> they won't let me see her body. You should let me see her body, shouldn't they? Oh, uh, yeah, I should think so. It's in there, is it? Okay, I have a friend who is really good with locks. Do you want to come with me and see if we can find him? Or you can do that because that works too. What's the most interesting thing about the foretold? Terribly so, I don't believe we're aware. You know. The foretold, you took a mummy, let it have it, but if you see it, you're a dead man. Yes, I know what it is, you see. I happen to be Emil Mulhouse, Professor of Alien Mythology, I'm the doctor, pleased to meet you. So, the most interesting thing about the foretold, got it. Uh, you know, we have to be the time limit given before it kills you. I can't think of another myth where it's so specific. That's a good Um, the number of evil twice over, they that bear the foretold stare, have 66 seconds to no, 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 nice try, very atmospheric, but that's not it. Try again. Mm -hmm. So, come on, that's it, which will take public information. <laughs> the myth of the foretold first appeared over 5,000 years ago. In some stories, there is a rick or secret word that's supposed to make it stop. Some characters try to bargain with it. Of the riches, confess sins, all to no avail. Well, you certainly learn a little mythology. I know a lot. Jelly babies. Time. <laughs> Surely it's the Doctor. But that's the great appeal, isn't it? Earth legends are such dry, dusty affairs of all this fiction. But up here, in the stars, anything's possible. That's why I chose this field, to be honest. Hoping one day I might meet a real monster. Isn't that everyone's dream? But you still haven't answered my riddle. What's the most interesting thing about the foretell? Well, you can't run from it, that's for sure. There are accounts of people trying, but it never works. No matter how far you run, it's always right there behind you. <laughs> Are we clear? I think the conductor knows something. Do you know what you're doing? Nope. 
But I do need to be slightly more skilled than a high heel shoe. Do you ever wish bad things on people? Oh, yeah. All the time, love designed this door for a start. She wasn't really my mum. She just made me call her that. She was my grand. Do you know why I wanted to see her body? Because you loved her very much. Am I missing her? <laughs> you obviously never met her. No, I just felt really guilty. Like I'd been picturing her dying for years. Like a daydream. Not really meaning it. At least I don't think I did. But now, it just feels like I made this happen. Hey, listen. You didn't do anything wrong with difficult people. Well, they can make you feel all sorts of things. But you didn't do it. You didn't kill her. She just died. Are you sure about that? This matter does not concern the passengers. I'm not a passenger. I'm your worst nightmare. Oh, oh, great. I think that's your worst. Oh, God, Mr. Shopper. I could do with an extra pillow, and I'm very disappointed with your breakfast bar. And. one of the dying. This is not exactly within your job description. Come on, Captain, we'll be able to follow our job descriptions. Mm -hmm. Good question, glad you asked. In your case, you'd be doing something instead of climbing inside a bottle. I have followed the procedure for accidental death to the letter. Yes, I'm sure you have. I'm sure you do just enough of your job to avoid complaints. You don't know anything about me. Wounded in battle. Honorable discharge. And this is just a guess. I think you've had the fight knocked out of you. You expected this to be a cushy desk job where you could put your head down until retirement. Well, I'm sorry. As of today, that dream is over. There is no evidence of any attack or out of Yes, let's just sit around and wait for the evidence while the bodies pile up. Or oh, here's a crazy thought. You could do something to stop it. Why am I even talking to you? Uh, passenger manifest, plan of the train, and the list of stops for the past six months. Quick work, Packers. Maybe too quick. Yes, sir. I'm obviously the mummy. Perhaps I was already looking into this. This doctor is your what exactly? Hmm. He's not by anything. Oh, you mean you're just friends? Yeah, of course we're just friends. Oh, not even friends, not anymore. Well, that clearly isn't true. No, it's true. Yes, it's very true. We do seem to be here together. Oh, seriously. We're stuck in this carriage probably all night. You know, we've been talking about some Some night. Not like a kind of... Look, we, um... We knocked about together, we travelled, and now we're stopping. This is, uh... I don't know. Goodbye to the good times. Well, the good times are all like this. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, Sixty-six seconds. Fits the myth. You see the lights flipping? Mm. Yeah, the lights were in the kitchen as well, just before the chef saw it. In all of the accounts, conventional weapons have no effect on the foretold. It's immortal. Unstoppable. Unkillable. Can we get a new expert?
Exactly 66 seconds left in which to live. But that isn't even the strangest thing. Do you know what it is? You. The passengers. Experts in alien biology, mythology, physics. If I was putting together a team to analyze this thing, I'd pick you. I think somebody has. Someone of immense power and influence. Someone who I have no doubt is listening to us right now. So I can understand why we're behind the curtain. They give us our orders. The engines have stopped. The facade drops away. What use are a bunch of scientists without a lab? <laughs> Teleporter? No. Hard light holograms. They were never really here. Fake passengers to make up the numbers. That was my best guard. Good morning, everyone. Around the room, you will find a variety of scientific equipment. Your goal is to ascertain the foretold to nature, probe for weaknesses with a view to capture, after which we will reverse engineer its ability. Isn't this exciting? You said capture, implying that you can't control this thing, and yet somehow you got on board. How? There is an artifact, an ancient scroll.
throne. I have highlighted it for your convenience. For reasons currently unknown, the foretold appears in the vicinity of this artifact. That kills a bag of intervals. And maybe you should just throw this thing out in the air. Oh, oh, oh. Looks like they've thought of that. What if we say no? Down tools. Refuse to work. That is your choice, of course. But it would be very upsetting were you all to die at the hands of the Porto. So hurry off before it kills you. But even then, it's hardly as much to study a creature that they can't even see. We don't even know what the species is. Uh, start the clock. Approximately 1.8 meters tall. Actually, seeing it in flesh isn't nearly as good as I thought it might be. Oh dear, hard cheese. Look, can you see details? Yes, yes, of course. Oh, well, it just looks like um, a man in bandages. I think. Oh, kind of old, new, old, old, like, it's brand new, calling up in places. I don't know what you want me to tell you. Yes, dude, you can see this thing. We can't tell us what you can see. Even the smallest feet of mine never save the next one. The next one? You mean you can't save me? Well, that is implied, isn't it? Yes, this is probably the end for you. But make it count! Detail! <laughs> Flesh, some of it for a second. Uh, leathery edge of the people preserve. Keep talking, don't waste this time. I want to bargain for my life. Oh, no, 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 no. If you find the right word, if you make the right offer, then it lets you go. This is not a myth. This is real. Forget your superstition. Tell us what you can see. This is my life. My death. I'm going to fight for how I want. Oh, I give you ten seconds. So I give you all my money. Please, 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 please. Zero. We apologize for any distress you may have just experienced. Grief counseling is available on request. On the bright side, I'm sure you've all collected a lot of data. Well done, everyone. It's recording every day. Of course it is. That's why we're here. To study our own demise. So let's get to work. Come on, chop, chop. Clara Oswald. So, first things first, the sarcophagus is actually a secure stasis view. Yes, it's where they want us to put the foretold if you catch it. You know anything good to know? Sorry, I'm actually a bit busy about it. What else? Please terminate your call and return to work. I have to take work. I have to give out a of the ships. May be recognized a couple of the names. These are missing ships. So, we're not the first. No. Please terminate your call and return to work. The Gloriana spent three days getting picked up by the foretold. He all died. Performance marked as poor. Warning! Decompression imminent. Please vacate the area. The Valiant Heart. Mr. Two Crew. All died. Please terminate the call and return to work. I think you should do a success. Damn. I'm sorry, I know that must have been distressing for you. But if you are disobedient again, I will decompress another area containing less valuable passengers. Less valuable passengers? How does it choose? I'm assuming qualifications. No, no, not the computer. The foretold. How does it choose who to kill? We've assumed it's random, but it's not. I want full histories on all the victims. Medical, social, personal. Well done! Don't mention it. Travel history, interests, health. It's all over the shop. Health? Are you sure? Mrs. Pitt, the first victim. She was over a hundred years old. The frailest passenger on board. No, but the next to go, the chef, was young and fit. It's random. The chef was ill. What? Rare blood disorder. Not contagious, but we met his wife. Because he worked with food. The next one, the guard. He wasn't ill as such. But he did have synthetic lungs implanted last year. Professor Lawhouse. It seems he was physically fine, but suffering from... Here we are. Regular panic attacks after a car crash last year. 
It's picking off the weakest first. Sensing the illness somehow. The fake organs, even psychological issues. But this is good news, because it means we can work out who is next. I want the medical records of everybody alive who is still on board. If anyone's had as much as a cold, I want to know about it. Do you really think we can sense psychological issues? It seems so. Why? When you said I lost the stomach for fight, that wasn't the thing that for that search. My unit was bombed. I was a sole survivor. Not a scratch on me. A post-traumatic stress. Like that. And that you still can't sleep without pills. Which means that you are probably next. It's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> not for me. Well, of course not for you, because you're going to die. But I mean, for us, from a research point of view. You look for a doctor. Your bedside matter. Start Perkins, start the clock. What can you see? On the spirit. Out of focus. It's merely just looking at it. Oh, no, 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 that didn't work before. What kind of soldier would I be? Die with bullets in my gun. 50 seconds. Someone shut that man up. For the record. Where is it now? Approximately 20 feet in front of me. I'm closing. 40 seconds. Am I close? I see that for you. Like a ghost. It's not a hologram. If you move, we'll follow. You want me to move? Because we can certainly do that. Keep moving at it, but back off quick as I can. Teleported away. Behind me. Behind me. Twenty seconds. Have you missed it? Still suppose it's not a bad way to go. Blood pumping. Only if it gets a lot left. I thank you, Doctor. For waking me up. Just reaching for me. Hands in my head. See you around. Ah. Yeah. Tell them all about me to take. And 66 seconds to do what? 66 seconds? That seems very, very specific. Too specific for Cali. So what? More take? Something charging. Our man just died in front of us. Can we not just have a moan? No, 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 no. We can't do that. We can't mourn. People with guns to their heads, they cannot mourn. We do not have time to mourn. Everybody, what takes 66 seconds to charge up or to change steps? Anyone? Am I surrounded by idiots? If only I could see this thing. Don't even joke about that. I'm not joking about it. One minute with me and this thing, it will be over. You know, Doctor, I can't tell if you're a genius or just incredibly arrogant. Well, uh, on a good day, Apple. It's a tank. This thing has been around for centuries. How? Tank that keeps it alive. Tank that drains energy from the living. Scanner. of almost all energy on a cellular level. The heart attack is just a, it's just a sign of it. Mm, it's not just a mummy, it's a vampire. Metaphorically speaking. But why take 66 seconds to drain us all just pounce? Phase. You get energy out of phase. That takes about a minute, doesn't it? That's why only the victims can see it. It takes them out of phase so it can drain their energy. You, sir, are a genius. This explains everything. Apart from what it is and how it's doing it. Sorry, I jumped the gun there, but you're a genius that explains everything from Mark. Doctor, let me know the next victim. Oh, of course. That makes perfect sense. She's had a bad day, that's all. Uh, it doesn't care. Her bad day, her bereavement, her little breakdown put her squarely in its crosshairs. She's next. Okay, but, but we're in here, and, and if we stay in here, that thing we can't... Can we need her here, even the computer agrees. Okay, so you can say that. Right? Of course not. Why would you think that? This is another chance. To observe this action. As it kills her. Of course, as it kills her. If it happens in there, it'll be a waste. So bring her to us. How? How exactly? She's never going to agree to this. Well, I don't know, lie to her. Tell her I can save her, whatever it takes to get out of here. 
What's his name? He says... He says he can save you. I knew he could get us out of there. I told you. He's a good man. Yes. Yes, he is. And to be honest, I don't know how convinced I am by this trauma sense thing, but the doctor says he can help me anyway. I mean, yeah, that must be a good thing, doesn't it? Oh, Good for you. Huh? We passed the TARDIS on the way here. Thought about getting inside, hiding, pulling the levers and hoping for the best. But we couldn't even get in. There was a force field around it. It's probably Gus trying to work on an escape route. But how does he even know what it is? Because if he knows what it is, then he knows what you are. Well, he has tried to entice me here before. Free tickets. Mysterious summons. Even for the TARDIS one. And you know how it's difficult. You knew. You knew this was no relaxing break. You knew this was dangerous. I didn't know. I certainly hope. Look at this. You see this? This is why I'm leaving you this. Because you lied. You lied to me again. And now you've made me lie. You've made me your accomplice. What? Sorry. When did you lie? Clara? Maisie, I am. I am so sorry. Well, 
Why don't we just on a train? Well, that was ages ago. And? And what? Oh, and uh, we got off the train. Oh, well, the teleporter worked eventually. They didn't get everyone into the TARDIS. No casualties. With the baby of sleeping beauties. I tried hacking Gus from the TARDIS. Find out who set this all up. They really didn't like that. Set off some thing. Set off. Blow up the train. That's my. Blow up the train. Blow up the train. But we got away. I dropped everyone off at the nearest civilized planet, which happened to be here. You seem happy asleep, so I just left. That no, 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 no. Probably. Don't know. No, I just saved you, and I let everyone else suffocate. Uh, hmm. Yeah, this is just my cover story. You probably so, did. So, when you lied to Maisie, when you made me lie to Maisie, you... I couldn't resist finding out my plan and stopping it. So you were pretending to be heartless? Would you like to think that about me? Would that make it easier? I didn't know if I could save her. I couldn't save Quell, I couldn't save your house. There was a good chance that she'd die too. At which point, I would have just moved on to the next, and the next, until I beat it. Sometimes the only choices you have are bad ones. But you still have to choose. It's uh, quite a vehicle you have here, Doctor. I won't pretend to understand half of it. Having said that, I did notice you've got a couple of drive stacks need replacing. Oh, you did? Did you? Yeah. Should get someone in. A job like that takes forever. Really? Well, I suppose whoever I did get in might just be easier to have them stay on board for a while. I don't suppose you know of anyone. No. Sorry, Doctor, but I don't think I do. That job could uh, change him. Yes, it does. Frequently. Well, I won't keep you goodbye, Perkins. Good to meet you. You too, Doctor. And uh, good luck. Do you love it? Love what? I know it's scary and difficult. But do you love being the man making the impossible choice? Why would I? This is what you do. All day, every day. Why not? Doesn't have to be. Is it like... Like what? An addiction. Well, you can't really tell something's an addiction till you try and give it up. Home safe and on time, everything is great. I am so sorry. I've had a wobble. 
It's a bit wobble, but it's fine. Forget about it now. Shut up and give me some lines. Well, I'm glad that you said that. Because you know that one that's made entirely of shrubs. Are you sure about this? Are you? Have you ever been sure? And what are you waiting for? That's a quite Something nearby is itching all the external dimensions. Aliens. Possibly. Oh, my God, it's probably. Whatever they are, they are experimenting. They are testing. They are, they are dissecting. Trying to understand us. Trying to understand the dimensions. Life support. Very, very, very. As usual. This was a good episode. A lot of references to the fourth doctor and the ninth. Especially the one that, uh, what's that story? I can't remember. Uh, the little kid in the gas mask. He said, Are you my mummy? That was a crack up. Um, yeah. If you like this video, this is my normal reaction video. I haven't put up and put up any uh, videos in a, quite a while, um, but I hope you enjoy my reaction. Thank you. Have a goodbye.